Okay. Uh, flight video. They sent me the wrong glasses. They were 640 by 480. They wouldn't even hold a video stream well. So, no flight video yet. I am going to order a new set. Uh, when they come in, I will give y'all a nice video. I promise. In the meantime, 450 clone. Uh, finished. Been flying it. Fly barless 450 is a lot nicer. Even if you crash it, repair time is a lot simpler because you don't have all the junk on the head to have to worry about. I built this out of parts with the exception of ordering the head. I did order that. Uh, everything on it was a clone part except for the BEC, the fly barless controller, and the Fatawa tail servo. Now, and I know you see the motor now. Yes, it was a $15 motor. That's a Scorpion. I actually put four tins in here and the Scorpion in here. So it's a clone frame, clone gears, clone everything except the electronics now. All the electronics were nice electronics in this one. I built this from spare parts though. Moving on. Last night I got bored. I decided to see what I had in spare parts. So I took all the stuff I took off of that one when I upgraded the electronics a couple of days ago. It's all in here now. $15, 4,400 kV motor, which in a review months back, I told you I, it flew power-wise about the same as the 2221-8 Scorpion. Uh, you just got to get the right gear in them to get them set up right. And I've already got the servos in, which these are the ones I was flying in here. I just got these servos in yesterday, put them on, decided to build me another helicopter. I've already got the swash in it. I've just got it raised. I was setting my linkages and leveling my swash. Uh, yeah, it looks good. Cool. So, put the tail on yesterday. I had, didn't have no more torque tubes. I had to go with a belt drive. I've got like five belt drive tails. I gave a couple away. Still have about five. So I thought, well, it's free. I got it. Let's put it on. Uh, servos are in. Motors in. Tails together. I don't have a set of skids. I'm going to get me a $2 set of skids. Joy. I do have a head. It'll be fly barred. Um, and I do have several gyros. I'm going to order an ESC. I don't have any ESCs. I normally only fly Castle Ice 50s. My last 450 Pro I had, I sold the, four, the Castle Ice with it. That one's in there. I'm probably... Since this is going to be a beater, uh, probably going to go with something other than Castle. Uh, I won't go with a Dynam because in an earlier video, of course, I burst the one in the flames. But I'll probably look at a Turn G or a Hobby Wing, something like that. Something cheap, you know, as long as it flies, I don't care. This is just going to be a little beater. But it's almost done. I do have the tail servo. It is a digital narrow band 760 tail servo. So, and the gyro I got is a MIMS and it does support the 760, so I'm good there. Um, you know, that's it. If y'all have any questions, you want to know anything about, you know, this, like this Terret Fly Barless head, it is a, like a KDE knockoff clone. I love this head. It's it's flying great. Uh, it's durable. If you notice, you can see. Well, maybe you can. Yeah, see the nut is about halfway up the head block there. That's where the boat goes through the shaft there. Without Jesus boat, and at the bottom of the head, there is uh, a nut right there, and there's one on the opposite side the same way. You see it right there. Uh, that actually gives that head a lot of support on that shaft. I know on like the pro heads and stuff, it was always so thin here. 
a good smack and you bent the bottom of it, wobbled it out, you'd have to bend it back and then before long it was useless. Haven't had that problem with this one. Uh, <laughs> I wished I'd had a flight video the other day. I lost tail control and I never found out why. I think it was something to do with the radio. Don't know. But I did lose tail control and I regained it for a second and I actually flew this into the side of some horse stalls out, outside and I hit the throttle hole before it went into them and it, it just smacked you know at speed I was flying doing forward flight when I lost it and it was actually really funny it cost me a feathering shaft uh, <clears throat> a set of blades and a tail boom because it actually it didn't it just kind of bowed the tail boom so I replaced the tail boom in the torque tube but it was one of those you'd have had to see it on video, and it was funny, at least to me. Well, if you have any questions, feel free to ask. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.